Good morning, distinguished uh, representatives, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, a great pleasure for me to open the proceedings of the first international conference organized by a global maritime club in collaboration with Sea Trade Maritime News on the occasion of the International Shipping Exhibition of Posidonia. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Greece, welcome to Posidonia, where the heart of the global shipping industry beats, a prominent member of which is, as you already know, the Greek shipping industry. I would like really to thank the organizers for addressing the conference through this keynote address. The theme of the conference uh, corresponds the, the recent challenges that uh, shipping will face, which are the, the digital transformation of the shipping industry, and most importantly, the human factor. These are two issues that dominate the Greek shipping community. Undoubtedly, these are two issues which are interconnected in more and more complex ways than they initially seem. Administrative implication is currently high on the political agenda in most countries, particularly in the EU. We consider it necessary to reduce administrative burden on ships and to facilitate the use of digital information with the aim of improving the efficiency, the competitiveness and the sustainability of maritime transport. Digitalization procedures to further facilitate and help the company registration and daily operation is being the prime priorities of our ministry. Digitalization and automation of ships were well pinpointed as key priorities also for the European Union maritime transport policy. Governments should uh, fully support the initiatives undertaken both at the level of IMO and EU, aiming to improvement of cybersecurity issues in shipping, the global promotion of single maritime window systems, and the use of uh, electronic certificates from ships. In that respect, the EU regulation establishing a European maritime single window environment, which is now operational in Greece, is considered as an important step towards reducing administrative burden and increasing the attractiveness of the maritime transport. Digitalization initiatives are also ongoing in the frame of, of the operational planning and strategic priorities of the ministry in the field of the maritime education. An extensive program of 11 digital transformation projects has been launched and has been implemented in cooperation with the Ministry of Digital Governance for the provision of digital facilities and tools for the entire educational community. This include electronic curriculum management system in all public merchant marine academies, the establishment of the e-registry of maritime education tickers, and the development of a new e-training system for maritime education. The aim here is to provide adequate, high-quality, and internationally competitive services to both students teachers and seafarers in their vocational training. Ladies and gentlemen, the continuous and constant digitization of basic structural function of the shipping industry is uh, directly related to the need for a new generation of executives who will be familiar with this new reality. So the promotion and support of the human capital of shipping should be considered as a core priority for the years to come. The shipping industry cannot exist without skilled professionals, whatever level the automation reaches. Our seafarers, after all, are a wealth of knowledge and expertise in and outside of the EU, 
which should be protected and preserved. Today, shipping employs millions of people on board and onshore and creates meaningful career opportunities for young people. In this respect, we should all focus on creating the leverage necessary to attract and keep these people into this business and to enhance the maritime profession and seafaring manpower given the significant shortages expected in the coming years. After all, we have to change the image of shipping, the image of the sea, of, for our seafarers, which I uh, have to underline that uh, their contribution, especially during the pandemic, was absolutely vital. Governments, international bodies, shipping, and seafarer organization cannot stay inactive in hearing the most concerning number of almost 90,000, I would repeat, 90,000 expected shortages of skilled officers before the end of the current decade. Our vision is to preserve and expand the Greek maritime expertise, given also the significant shortages expected in the coming years. The development of uh, Greek shipping and the Greek flag is inextricably linked to the availability of the young seafarers who are trained, well-educated, qualified, able to face the future challenges of shipping, namely decarbonization, protection of the environment in general, cyber security issues, autonomous and semi-autonomous ships. In that context, I intend to propose a comprehensive plan for the enhancement of the marine education by the end of this year. For the Ministry of Maritime Affairs and Insular Policy, it is absolutely crucial to look into the challenges of the present while anticipating those of the future. As you already know, the shipping industry and the seafarers have been hardly hit by many obstacles in the last two years caused by the pandemic. Lockdowns, health protocols, isolation, the suspension of certain activities, problem in logistics as when growth started to recover, reminded us that nothing should be taken for granted. Surviving physically and economically, all the more progressing require dedication, effort, and cooperation. Also, the Russian invasion in Ukraine did nothing more but confirm that. In this uh, unprecedented time of the pandemic and in cooperation with our international partners, the IMO and the EU, we have come together to keep the global supply chains flowing. We contributed greatly to solving problems of mobility of our seafarers and repatriated them when they were trapped in dire conditions because of restrictive measures and recently because of military operations. At the same time, we must all acknowledge that seafarers have been able to keep the seas routes open during these two difficult years, proving that shipping has been, is, and remains a credible and powerful player in the global economy. With these thoughts, I would like once more to thank you for your kind invitation to address you on this important gathering, and I wish you every success in your deliberations. For our foreign guests, I also wish a pleasant and a productive stay in Greece. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.